buckle up for another wild ride episode of exploring innovative construction equipment only here at MechMind's Hub, where these compactors change the way construction works. Let's dive in! This plate compactor is a simple and versatile machine that consists of a flat metal plate attached to a vibrating engine. The plate compactor is used to compact small areas of soil, sand, or gravel, such as in trenches, foundations, or sidewalks. The plate compactor is easy to operate and maneuver, and it can reach tight spaces and corners. However, it is not very effective for large or deep areas, and it can create noise and vibration hazards. Plate compactors come in different sizes and weights depending on the material and the compaction depth required. Next on the list is the Rammer Compactor. This machine looks like a jackhammer, but instead of breaking the material, it compacts it. However, it emits significant noise and vibration, making prolonged operation fatiguing. Rammer compactors typically run on gasoline or diesel engines, although certain models may be electric or pneumatic. Featuring a metal shoe attached to a piston, these compactors deliver rapid and forceful blows to the ground. They are particularly effective in compacting cohesive soils like clay or silt, which can be challenging for other machines. Moreover, rammer compactors excel in compacting around pipes, columns, or other obstacles. Moving on, this roller compactor is used to compact large and flat areas of soil, gravel, or asphalt, such as in roads, parking lots, or runways. The roller compactor can achieve a high level of compaction and smoothness, and it can also create different patterns or textures on the surface. It is not very suitable for an even or sloped terrain, and it can be expensive and bulky to transport. Roller compactors can be classified into different types, such as smooth, padded, pneumatic, or vibratory, depending on the shape and function of the drums. Next up, the Sheep's Food Compactor. This type of roller compactor has protruding metal spikes or pads on the drums, resembling the hooves of a sheep. The Sheep's Food Compactor is used to compact clay or silty soils that need a lot of pressure and needing to achieve the desired density. The Sheep's Food Compactor can penetrate deep into the soil and create a uniform compaction. It is not very effective for granular or sandy soils, and it can leave marks or holes on the surface. Sheep's Food Compactors can be towed by tractors or trucks, or they can be self-propelled. Another type of compactor is the landfill compactor that is specially designed to compact waste materials in landfills or recycling centers. The landfill compactor has a heavy and robust body with large wheels that have metal teeth or spikes. The landfill compactor can crush, shred, and compress the waste, reducing its volume and increasing its stability. The landfill compactor can also spread and level the waste, creating a uniform layer. It is also a complex and costly machine, and it requires regular maintenance and cleaning. It is powered by diesel engines, and they have a cab for the operator. Next on the list is the Jumping Jack Compactor. This compactor looks like a pogo stick, but with a metal base that vibrates and jumps on the ground. The jumping jack compactor is used to compact small and narrow areas of soil or gravel, such as in trenches, manholes, or curbs. The jumping jack compactor can deliver high-impact force and reach deep layers of the material. It can be challenging to balance and handle, and it is a noisy, bouncy machine. Typically driven by gasoline engines, jumping jack compactors are equipped with an operator's handle. Looking for a machine that recycles? Then, Recycling Compactor is what you need. This is a machine that is used to compact recyclable materials, such as paper, cardboard, plastic, or metal, into bales or cubes. The Recycling Compactor has a hydraulic press that applies pressure and reduces the size of the material. It increases the efficiency and profitability of recycling, 
as it saves space, transportation, and handling costs. The recycling compactor can also improve the quality and safety of the material as it prevents contamination and fire hazards, but it's also a big, strong machine requiring careful operation and supervision. Depending on the press's configuration and mobility, recycling compactors can be mobile, vertical, or horizontal. The machine that you are looking at is called the Biomass Compactor. This device compacts biomass materials into pellets or briquettes, such as wood, straw, or grass. The material is compressed and extruded into a rectangular or cylindrical shape by the biomass compactor's roller and die. A consistent and high-quality fuel that can be used in boilers, power plants, or stoves can be produced using the biomass compactor. The biomass compactor can also be used to minimize the material's moisture and ash content while utilizing waste or residual biomass. It is a sophisticated device that uses a lot of energy. The material must be properly prepared and conditioned. Depending on the die's shape and purpose, biomass compactors can be screw, ring, or flat die types. This machine is used to compact waste materials using artificial intelligence and sensors. It can automatically detect the type, weight, and volume of the waste and adjust the compaction force and frequency accordingly. The smart compactor can also communicate with the operator and the waste management system and send alerts and reports on the performance and maintenance of the machine. The smart compactor can optimize the compaction process and the waste collection schedule and it can also prevent overloading and malfunctioning. However, it is also a sophisticated and expensive machine, and it requires reliable and secure data transmission and storage. Smart compactors can be integrated with other smart devices, such as smart bins, smart trucks, or smart cities. Another innovative addition to the compactor family is the tamping compactor. This specialized machine employs a unique tamping or pounding action to compact soil, sand, or aggregate materials. Unlike traditional compactors that rely on vibration or rolling, the tamping compactor uses percussive force to achieve compaction. Equipped with a heavy-duty tamping foot or plate, the compactor repeatedly strikes the surface, effectively densifying the material. Tamping compactors are especially beneficial for cohesive soils and challenging terrain where traditional compactors may struggle to achieve desired compaction levels. The tamping compactor is available in various sizes and configurations, including walk-behind and ride-on models, catering to diverse construction requirements. With its ability to penetrate and compact even the toughest soils, the tamping compactor stands out as a valuable asset in construction and landscaping projects. Last but not the least, this machine is a compacting solution powered by air pressure. This versatile machine utilizes pneumatic force to compress soil, gravel, or asphalt, offering precise control and efficiency in compaction operations. Unlike traditional compactors that rely on mechanical or hydraulic systems, the pneumatic compactor harnesses the power of compressed air to achieve optimal compaction results. Featuring a series of pneumatic tires or rollers, the compactor applies uniform pressure to the surface, compacting the material evenly. Pneumatic compactors are particularly suitable for projects requiring delicate compaction, such as road repairs, pavement overlays, and landscaping applications. With adjustable air pressure settings and advanced control systems, pneumatic compactors provide operators with flexibility and accuracy in compaction tasks. Whether compacting soil subgrades or finishing asphalt surfaces, pneumatic compactors offer superior performance and versatility in diverse construction environments. Which type of compactor did you find the most interesting? Let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to MechMinds Hub channel for more videos like this. Thank you for watching and see you on the next one.